My name is Mo Gambo. The jungle is my castle. The animals are my friends. Look out, Mo! <laughs> you never know who your friends are. What lies ahead in the jungle for Mo Gambo? Maybe Umgawa knows. Buwana, 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 Umgawa, Buwana, Buwana, Umgawa, Buwana. There you are. Here's a banana. Lucky I knew the language. The only interpreter around was some smart ape who used to entertain the natives with his funny songs. He used to travel around on two burrows, and the natives called him Ape Burrows. Well, it was Ape who told me about King Arthur's mines in Watusi country, where the men grow tall as trees and the women prune them once a month. They say he who finds these mines will be rewarded with a great surprise. What could that surprise be? Urukukomo, Urubukomo, Ukurubukomo. Two tickets to the Perry Como show. <laughs> On through the dark and charted jungle we pushed. The first day, seven of us were felled by the dreaded Tsitsi Mantis. The second day, the Kwame tribe took their toll of 18 men with poison darts. The third day, we were set upon by a pack of juvenile jaguars in blue jeans, and 17 more of our own men met death. The fourth day, another 30 men were devoured by a band of treacherous crocodiles. Ukurubuana, elekunubuana. From the tone of Umgawa's voice, I knew that trouble lay ahead. <coughs> Finally, we reached pygmy country where the men are as tiny as carnations. Umgawa, I think there's a man in your buttonhole. He really didn't have a man in his buttonhole. As a matter of fact, he didn't even have a buttonhole. But I was trying to lighten the tension with sort of a joke. Speak with him, Umgawa. Who want a ginger? Who want a kakakale ginger? Ginger jelly, ginger. He wanted the ginger ale. The pygmy spoke. All we have is egg cream. Umgawa talked with the pygmy in his own language, Pygmalion. Buwana buwana uruku buwana. Yaya no buwana. Yaya no buwana. What you say, Umgawa? Yes, we have no buwanas. Fifty more days, we punched with the treacherous brush and finally we reached the entrance to King Arthur's hidden mines. What could be inside them? Who would be the first to delve into its secret portals? But more important, how to open the magnificent mine door of gold, silver, rubies, diamonds and emeralds? On second thought, who needed to go inside? But, ah, yes, this was only the appetizer. What was inside after all these years? The door was to be opened, but how? There must be some secret, some combination. If only we had the key. Suddenly, Uruku stepped forward. He was the Arthur Murray of Zululand. He did sort of a Tanganyika Mambo. <laughs> Did it! I knew it! The mine door was beginning to open. After all these thousands of years, King Arthur's great hidden mines would bear their fabulous secret. What was in there? What could be inside, kept from civilization, sealed away from the entire universe since the year 600? Wait a minute! Great Scott, it couldn't! It couldn't be! It couldn't! How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome to King Arthur's Talent Quest. And now for our next talent quester, Mr. Harry Uruku. What do you do, Harry? I'm a witch doctor. And who did you bring with you? A man we fried last night. Shut the cave door and back to Pygmy Country! Hey.